Oh hello guys, it's me again. Today, I'm going to show you how to achieve 100 FPS on Minecraft with shaders on Android. We will also use the new renderer called Mobile Glues 4.0. This is so good and super easy tutorial. Just follow the steps. So let's go guys. First, open your browser and search for Fold Craft Launcher. Scroll down and download the latest version. After you install, open Fold Craft Launcher. Click Allow to manage files. Here, just click Install Update and wait for it to finish. This shouldn't take long. Now we are inside. First we need to do is to add Minecraft offline account. Just click here to add account. You can also change skins just like that. Next, we're going to install Minecraft with Fabric Mods. Click here and it will show all available version we can install. Click the 1.21.4. What I'm going to show you is how to install Fabric. But you can install whatever you want when you already know how this works. Make sure you always select the same version when you are installing this mods. Once the fabric loader and fabric API is selected, you can now click the download button. This download can take a long time. For me, it takes about 10 minutes to finish its downloading and installing. Once it's done, next thing we're going to do is to install Iris and Sodium mods. Go to Mods tab and search for Iris. Make sure you selected the fabric version. Next is Sodium Mod. Now to download shader packs. This is so much easier than Pojav Launcher. Just go to shader packs tab and you can search and download directly in this launcher. That's it. Now we just need to set the mobile glues renderer in the settings. Here, uncheck Automatic Allocate Memory. I suggest to just give it a fair amount of memory and we're good to go. Adjust Resolution to 25%. Now in Renderer, if you don't see Mobile Glue's render here, we can download it and install so we can use it later. As you can see, there's a link here. Just click it and it will direct to Mobile Glue's download.
close all applications and open Mobile Glues app. Click Modify Render and follow the steps. We need MG folder so we need to create new folder and rename it to MG. A new settings will appear. Just follow my steps here guys. Disable angle driver cause it's causing bug while playing. And we're done here. Back to Foldcraft. Go to Settings and select the renderer to Mobile Glues. Don't enable this because it will make the gameplay unstable. It's just not worth it in some cases. I think we're all set guys. I think we can now launch the game. I hope you followed all the steps and you successfully installed all of this. Here, I'm just adjusting some Minecraft settings that will improve our FPS a lot. I will create a video on how to optimize this soon in this channel, so stay tuned for that. Well, if you want a better controls, you need to modify it in the settings. I haven't explored the controls settings yet so, let's use this default controls for now, ha ha ha. the 100 FPS mark. This launcher is so smooth. So what do you think guys? Is this better than Pojab launcher? Well, I like how you can download and install mods inside. But in terms of performance, I think it's better. But I don't know. Maybe I'll make a comparison video in the future. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.
Please give the video a like, it will help the video to reach a lot of people who want this also. Thank you guys for your support and goodbye.